department reports. Um, well, Justin's too busy. So, uh, Chief Ray, come on up. You drop, I think you dropped something. Yeah, that's excellent. First time I've ever been compared to a water. I'm going to ask each department head to keep it to a minimum of 10 minutes. Maximum 10 minutes. Maximum 10 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to go over just very briefly in your packet. I have a couple of things I've thrown together for you to review. First of all, during the month of November, 293 calls, 5,016 miles driven, 87 citations with court services of 61. Total six arrests, which also include individuals who were arrested for outstanding warrants. On your secondary part, we have an uh, estimated amount of money that we take to court. Basically, so far this year, year to date, we've collected, the first time City of Lake Park's ever done it, in revenue and citations from court services over excess of $400,000. Technology fee, 2180. Crime lab fee, 1090, which we'll be able to use to get that in the near future. And we still have, from the beginning part of the year, 3870 from various sources of probation. Investigated two burglaries on Lakes Boulevard, still currently under those investigations. Sadly, saying we have not solved those this pro proper time. We're investigating uh, theft by receiving stolen property. Warrants will be obtained by tomorrow, and the individual is already incarcerated in Florida on additional charges, so we're able to take care of that. And a burglary that happened at 805 Lane Drive. That individual is also incarcerated. Now in Florida, we are under a charge of armed robbery and some others, so it'll be a period of time before he appears back in Florida. We had a domestic incident where an arrest was made on Park Avenue. Basically, our computer system had a gentleman come in to look at our computer system. Updated that, and after looking at a couple of computers we had, we were having to purchase three smaller new computers where the mayor assisted us in doing so. New business for Town Marshall, everything's looking pretty good. We got one place over where a trailer had burned down in the past. They're demolishing it completely. The roof has been lowered, and they've taken away five different dumpsters. They hopefully will have that within a week, and everything's clear. Uh, there is a little bit of high grass. We've contacted somebody in reference to one of the churches, and they're going to be taking care of that. Other than that, everything within the town marshal looks pretty good. Any ordinance violations, we don't have that. Uh, make sure that there's no trailers going back in there. That, uh, I need to direct that to the council because uh, they're part of the investigation we found. There was no county tax ever listed and or paid for said location, but the individual owns that trailer has moved to Eccles County. But that will be something I'll move about. After it's cleaned up, I'll appear in front of the council and see if they will arrange that accordingly. How is that lot zone? Hmm? How is that lot zone? I'm not really sure, sir. I'm sorry. The same you know? Only our can. Yeah, can. Can. So it's, from, it's permissible to... No, it's not permissible. Not but now that it's demolished, it's been removed. I'm going to set them just come back over that way. Is there any questions on that so far, please? I got one. Yes, sir. On your court up here, you're approximately 235,977. Yes, sir. Minus your court fees, I understand that. Well, the uh, the <coughs> total amount here today at 101. About 42 percent, sir. 42 percent. Loss. Or a port actually that was actually recovered. Recovered? Okay. Yes, sir. 42. That's all was recovered? Yes, sir. 42 percent of the total amount that you see on that number right there was actually uh, monetary value written for citation and what we've actually covered for <coughs> services for individuals going in front of court. Okay. Right. <coughs> 42 percent. Any other questions, please? Okay. Next thing I'll bring, I'll be very, very brief. Approximately two months ago, I came in front of the city council and handed out policies and procedures that I've established, one for additional elimination of our police department. We have about 14 chapters on that. The officers and myself are going through that, in which I'll come back. And Mr. Rutten pointed out on the policies. I asked for a reserve unit, a reserve unit being individuals who are law enforcement certified that will work for the city. And when I say work, they would be basically offered 20 hours a month to assist us. They are certified officers and the cost. Funny thing about the cost, Sergeant Kenzie and I are talking, we found a brochure that you had in front of you. 
that a brand new police officer seven years ago would cost over $42,000 to put this individual on the street. Take away the car, take away the radio, some other equipment or so, we're still talking in the 20,000s. I thought that would be pretty good for edification purposes. Attached to your, to your package, I've written the policy and procedures under the uh, latest standards, which is the federal government standards for law enforcement agencies above the state standards, and that would be for the reserve. I'd like to ask for the council, and I apologize for putting you on the spot, but I'd like to ask the council for a vote to see if we can bring a gentleman on who's actually here today. I'd like to introduce him to the council, if it is possible, and see if you have any questions. The gentleman has worked at various police departments. He is in good standing with the police departments, and he's in good standing with the post, the ones who actually give us our certificate. He's gainfully employed outside of the law enforcement profession, and he wants to get back in. Plus, he served time overseas for the United States government. Jimmy. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce the gentleman to you, and I wish to ask any questions that you have, please. This is Mr. Brother, Mr. Mayor, Jimmy. Got the letter. Who was the last place you were? Eccles County. Where? Eccles. How long were you there? I was there about five months, and me and the chief had a little disagreement. I get lied to, and I don't stick around. I'm a straightforward person. Were you full time or were you a retired? I was full time. What do you what do you hope to get out of being in the reserve unit? Just to keep my hours up. Um, I've been talking to the chief. If he's needing extra manpower, or special events, or something like that, I told him I have no problem coming help him doing that. At all. I mean, I have a full time job that pays my bills, generous leaves. Have we adopted the policy for you? No, sir, not necessarily because policy is made by the department heads. I'm not sure that to be directed to the department. <coughs> because policy is probably just need to approve approve the policy change. Yes, sir. I, I would list policies uh, written by the department head does have to be approved by council. We have no problem with the way the council wants to The charter does say that he has an hour to appoint as many as needed. Yes, whether sir. I reckon whether a special police officer who which would come under his reserve in this one. Well, I don't know. I think what it says is that the, uh, the, the department head, the chief, has the right to do that, but with the, with the uh, assistance approval of, approval of the council. Right. And that's why I'm here now. So we don't have policies and procedures Per se. No, no, sir. Policies and procedures are being rewritten. That's why we're going back over. As I stated previously, approximately 14 chapters that handles all the high end um, grievances, etc., and that'll be done. I'm going with that right this present time with the officers to get various input. Should we change it in direction, and then I'll bring it to the council. What kind of money are we looking at to bring in? A uniform, sir. Uniform identification. And what kind of money is that? Roughly about $45 a shirt, $65 a pair of pants. What about a weapon? The weapon is one of the individual. And what, you, what is your weapon? Beautiful. Four yeah. same as the same. Same as the department. Everything's departmental. And it also helps if he needs, like if he got an officer sick, he can call me. If I'm off work, I can get that out. You have a vest? Mm -hmm. we'll have, if we do this, we'll have to get him approved for our survive to drive the vehicle with our insurance. No problem, he supplied the have driver's have history. We don't have a contact post and having a the reserve there. But you've already uh, mentioned that. I contacted the post today. They said all they need is a phone call from me, sir. Well, I also have this post record here for your approval, gentlemen, should you need it, on the last page for training. Also, radar certified, etc., sir. The idea would be going with the officers, and as I said when I first came here, is changing the dynamics. A lot of police agencies are now doing this, one for the benefit of the agency and the government, the city municipal government and or county government. Balance County has had this in place for about 100 years. Would there be a period of um, evaluation and yes, sir, we did. And how long will that take? It would be at the discretion of the chief unless the council did arise different. My suggestion would be approximately, you know, three months to six months. High end six months, low end three months. Um, 
you know, our, we're, we're a small city. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of everybody pretty much knows each other. Um, and we try to uh, um, treat everybody with respect and, and we want to maintain that. Um, when we bring in a police officer, uh, we want to make sure that they are on board with, you know, um, they're there to protect and serve. Yes, sir. And that's, that's in, in my eyes, the number one thing that, you know, the police department is there for the service of our citizens. And for, and for public safety. Yeah, well, and, and, I, and I know, you know. Well, I know, you mentioned that. I started out with the city of Morgan. I was there almost three years. And the only time I ever called back from the city of Morgan was one time. Because I had like 30 people at a party that I shut down and pulled out here. And they got her out. Other than that, I handled everything myself, no matter what it was. And with probably the same philosophy, in my understanding, for the police department, that should have changed, honestly, it is totally new as the past of the size. And you have vetted him through the various departments? Sir, I've actually got letters coming from his chiefs of police. And I've also contacted Post in reference, so that's why I supplied you with the training record there. I've supplied you with enough to take more tip. Good standing for the problem, sir. Well, it's what I consider that he's asking for our approval of a reserve officer in this man right here. Yes, sir. For your blessings, which you very supposed to call. <coughs> From what I've read of the backup is like that, the chief police has that ability to appoint with the approval of the council. Mr. Mayor, I will recommend that we approve the chief's uh, selection of this man to be a reserve officer and hold the chief responsible for his actions. Right. Okay. And that will include, um, in that motion, you've got to include that the uniform will be provided by the city? The and uniform that, will be provided by the city. And then you have an extra badge. I do, sir. All right. And that the firearm and uh, uh, basketball uh, badge. Will be, provide, will be provided by those services. And there, there is no pay in this position. Yes, yes, yes. We want to add that into your motion? Yes, yeah, it will be a reserve mm -hmm. officer without pay. Yes, yes, I can ask for more money from the 2015 budget. <laughs> <laughs> like the gentleman said, the water department, speak every other second, sir. I didn't know there was going to be a comedy there tonight. Thank you. Um, so we have a motion. That we, um, I'm sorry, what's your first name? Jonathan. Jonathan. Have Jonathan be taken on as a reserve officer, that we will provide the uniform, that uh, Jonathan will provide his uh, weapon uh, and his uh, vest, and that he will be on a uh, probationary status for three months, sir. And you have checked your driver's license yes, recently? Yes, sir. Thank you. And yes, sir. I'll supply a complete copy of that and the, sorry, Mr. Mayor, I'll supply a complete copy of that and the dossier to go with the personnel file. Right. Okay. And we need a copy like that to turn into our insurance company. Yes, sir. For him, too. Okay, so we have a motion on, on the floor. I'll second the motion. We have a second. Do we have a discussion? Free help is free help if he's a good man. Okay. All right. All in favor? Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. This brief is actually. Okay.